How's it going, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanics in 2021 video. And in today's video, we're going to be finishing up the work on the taxi that we're converting into a police car. It's the uh, Ford Crown Victoria, but it's actually called the Salem Overking. Uh, it's just their uh, their generic version. Uh, I've already started work on the V8 Coyote motor, or Coyote motor we're going to put in here, the Ford motor. I wasn't sure what other motor to put in. Uh, I don't really want to put a supercharged one in there, uh, but I would put in a coyote. Not sure which one of these is probably the probably like the CGM is the closest to uh, to the actual one that comes in the car, or the CGM supercharged could be cool as well. But I've already got the rims and everything I think mounted, balanced. Yep, got those all redone. So I'm gonna finish up the work here on the engine first. There's really not too much more to do. This is one of the actual, uh, this is one of the V8s that isn't too bad to work on. You do have to put on the camshaft caps, which is a little annoying, but it's not too bad. And it looks like with this car, I should be probably hitting my uh, uh, next level after this, which would be nice. Caps on. So there's police libraries that I've downloaded that I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, I also have the uh, roof mounted lights. I don't know if I have a ramming front grill or not, but we should be able to put something in. All right, give me the timing chains. I think I'm missing my water pump. All right, there is a majority of the motor done there. Put on these covers. Yep. Also, I obviously put in all of the performance parts that you can manage in the and that it'll allow. So far, at least. Coils. There's intake manifolds. I don't think I have the throttle body yet either. Throttle B, water pump. So let's grab that. Water pump, water pump. Pretty easy one to find usually. Water pump V8, water pump pulley. I'm gonna grab the V8 board pulley just in case that's the one I end up needing. Uh, grab the throttle body B, V8. I gotta say, I do wish that they would make a Chevy DLC because I would absolutely love to LS one, two, three, swap everything. That would be a lot of fun. Let me throw uh, an LS one truck motor in, in this bad boy and see how fast it goes. All right, and then should be just the tensioner. I ran out of tensioners. That. one all right what am i missing here the real di's i need to go grab those and no ignition wires Let's see. fuel di nice little ford covers and there we go one more Alrighty. Uh, give me that engine. Should be ready to transplant it over now. Alright. And as you can see, the suspension is still not done. 
Uh, I'm not too sure if I want to actually replace the suspension in this. Since it is technically just like a... Like a... Gonna be like a police car. I mean, it's gonna get thrashed up anyways. Right, the module. Grab all of the reservoirs. Which one do I need? Coolant reservoir B. Uh, let's grab... Oh, a rad. Radiator A. I'm not sure what... I forgot what goes on it. Oh, so no, I think I have a normal one, actually. I might replace the struts and the brakes, actually, though. Probably. Probably should. Box. Ooh, I have it. I have everything right now. Uh, I probably am not going to have the top for this fuse box. Or this air cover. Nope. There's that top cover. And then I'm going to grab the short stubby clips. I do expect this to actually run pretty decently, though. I'm out of A's. Use A. Alright, do I have a cover? Nope. Now 60 bucks, 60 credits for a piece of plastic. That's kind of brutal. I break servo and then let's play V8A. V8A, two of those. Two middle mufflers. Catalytic converter. Uh, all right, front end looks good. I just got to put all the fluids in it. Not going to worry about that right now. I can do that before I throw it on the dyno. Out of there. What do I need? Exhaust pipe C. Is that all the pipes out? Oh, there we go. Room muffler B. Pipe C. I'm only feeling pretty quick here. This one's going, going at a good speed. So three, six, seven, eight percent in gain horsepower. Uh, there we go. There's eleven, pretty much. How much for these cats? I think the cats are another three together. So 14, oh wow, okay, so basically a 19% gain in horsepower off of this exhaust system alone. That's pretty, it's pretty impressive. One percent on this. Focusing that. It's not bad though. That is not bad at all. I'm just gonna buy six of those. Give me five extras because I know I will need them and I will use them. Oop, drive shaft. Forgot that this thing was missing a lot of its parts when I got it. Alrighty, so I just need shock absorber B's and is it double wishbone front shocks? Uh, front shock was over A. Okay, so rear B, front A's. All right, I'm going to get through, get uh, the shocks and suspension adjusted a wee bit, uh, get the brakes, all the calipers and everything, rotors changed out, hubs probably uh, swapped as well, uh, and then double check the bearings, and I'll see you guys back here with uh, everything mounted, balanced, and ready to go. There we go. Suspension ready to go, tires, wheels on, fluids filled up. 
I think if I check these parts, I shouldn't be missing anything. Oh, wait, but I am. Yep. I need these clips in the ECU. Then I think I'm good. All right, let's grab a performance ECU because obviously I want to get the max performance out of this possible. $10,000. Small price to pay. Uh, let me get into fuel tank. If I don't have a fuel pump, I can't start the car. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna align the tires first before I do any painting. That one is really, really far. Guess I did adjust some of the sway bars. Let's see. All right, let's go to the paint shop. So if I add on these parts, siren, nothing there. Can I put a light on the back here? Nope. All right, let's see what I have. So in the the add-on shop there we go so i already put on the police lights i think i only have room what are these all right we'll just leave the police light on then so if i'm gonna paint this factory probably want to go with black and then Live reset? Yeah, there we go. Sheriff, taxi, normal, police. Okay. There we go. Red up police. Nice. Looks actually a lot better than I thought it would. Maybe the metallic's a little too metallic. Yeah, it, it should be fine. All right, over to the dyno. Yeah, the, the paint color and the light really, really has it all come together. Uh, we'll make this a six gear. Doesn't really need to get too fast. Uh, and then this is not too hard if I remember. I think I'm, okay, I think I got it. Boom, that's pretty easy to do. What was that? Extra gain, 16%. All right. We might actually hit decent mark on this. 437. Uh, obviously shooting for 800 at least. Uh, ideally, it'd be like 874-ish, like double. Don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll find out. Come on, come on. Really dies off there. Oh my gosh. 490 gain. 962 actually. That 113% gain. Okay, I think... I think that stage 3 ECU that I put in is just... 16% helps a lot. Uh, wow, that's that's pretty good. Let's see. So 89 on the parts, which is okay. I didn't do all the suspension. Uh, everything else is 100. Worth 118,000 credits now. Not bad. Mark this at 926 horsepower. And there we go. There is honestly a, a, a police car that's got enough power to probably chase down most of anything maybe the suspension will give it up maybe maybe that'll, that'll ruin it but pretty pretty good if i do say so myself but there we go hope you guys enjoyed uh working on the taxi to police car hopefully if they add like chargers in or something like that i can try do the uh the sheriff chargers the undercover ones that'd be really cool as well but let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya I can do, I can do.
Got me so close, and I'm 